Hello everyone, welcome to our tutorial on React Hooks. To understand what we shall be doing in this course, you need at least basic knowledge on how React works. If you don't have basic knowledge with React, the link to my React tutorial is in the description. Now let's understand what React Hooks are. Hooks in React is an additional feature that allows you to use all of React's features without having to write it in a class. Before hooks in React, it was only possible to define and set states in a class-based component. But hooks changed that and made it possible to define and set states in a functional component. Also, things like lifecycle methods that were only possible in a class-based component can now be possible in a functional component using hooks in React. One of the reasons you should learn hooks is because class-based components do not perform well with hot reloading like functional components do. So in our next video, we shall learn how to start using hooks in our functional components in React. Before we jump into the next video, I just want to state that hooks are not a replacement for class-based components and are not to be used inside a class-based component. Hooks, like I said, are only to be used in a functional component. So hooks are not going to take away class-based components. Class-based components are still going to exist. So whatever we do using hooks now can be done using class-based components. But just for the sake of preference, we are going to learn React hooks. So you can choose which one you like working with better. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to share.